rate that there's a lot of dials that the Fed has, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you may have heard them doing quantitative easing uh, in the past, right, where they go out and buy mortgage-backed securities, uh, and they are then purchasing these things, which causes demand. That's exactly what happened in 2020. When the world went crazy in March of 2020, the government made a commitment to buying mortgage-backed securities. So they created the demand for uh, for these bonds. that, that they're, And so when there's this demand for bonds, and it keeps the price of the bond high, uh, which kept interest rates very low. And that is something that the Fed has a lot of control over. Um, and the more they buy, then the greater the demand, and then the higher the price, and then again, lower the interest rates. And that fed this economy for two years, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, it, it was causing this money to be very cheap, maybe cause people, millennials especially, got you know finally off the fence out of their parents' houses or apartments mm -hmm. and started buying houses for themselves. Because right. we wondered when they were going to be buying homes because mm -hmm. we expected them to really pull us out of the 2012, 13, 14 stuff you know, from, from the previous recession in mm -hmm. 08 through 010 or 2010. But um, they didn't. They just they stayed in, either in their parents' parents' houses or, or renting with other, you know, friends. And then finally, when rates got so low, they started buying in droves.